Hello everybody, my name is Neil Bruce. I'm a fourth year accountancy student at the University of Dundee. And if you're currently struggling with your exam preparations, then this is the video for you. Now, the reason that you've clicked on this video is to see the exam revision technique that's gonna absolutely change your life. But before we get there, make sure that you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. So, what is the technique? It is the Pomodoro technique. And in this video, I'm going to outline what it is, why you should use it, and how to implement it into your revision schedule. So, what is the Pomodoro technique? Well, it was first coined by a man called Francesco Cirillo in the late 1980s. And it is the act of working in small increments, like 25 minutes, followed by short, consistent five minute breaks. It is called this because Pomodoro in Italian is tomato. And in Italy at the time of him making this technique, he had a little tomato timer that he had used to time how long his sessions were lasting. Nowadays though, there are plenty of apps that you can get on your phone that are gonna assist you in your Pomodoro journey. My favorite of these is the forest that, but I'll get onto that later. So why does the Pomodoro technique work? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Why would only working for 25 minutes benefit you when you're trying to get so much done? Well, by working in short periods of time, you drive off any mental fatigue that you might get when you're looking to do extended periods of time and also boosts concentration for those 25 minutes. It also makes it incredibly easy to get started on a task. Most of the time, what stops people from revising is the fact that our brain is trained to go for the easy option a lot of the time in life. So for example, you might go to do a bunch of revision, but you look at your phone and it's so much easier to just scroll through Instagram or Twitter or just watch your favorite show on Netflix. But by reducing the amount of time that you're going to work for, i.e. the 25 minutes, it seems like less of a task and therefore it's easier for your brain to see that as an easy option to take. It also really helps to combat your distractions. So in that 25 minute period of time, because there is only 25 minutes to go, your brain sees that as like a less period of time until you can look at your phone or whatever. Whereas in like a four hour studying session, you're so much more likely to go on Facebook because you get a notification and then suddenly you've been on there for 20 minutes just scrolling through cat videos. And the final great reason to start using the Pomodoro technique is that it allows for more constant reflection. Because you are stopping and starting so often, you are stopping and you can look back at what work you've done and you can look forward to see what your next goals are and what you need to achieve. And therefore the re-evaluation constantly allows for your work to be more fulfilling. So how do you implement the Pomodoro technique into your revision? So what I recommend is making sure that you plan out your Pomodoros before you start doing them. So for example, if you've got a to-do list of a bunch of tasks that you need done in a day, what you can do is you can put a little tomato emoji next to that and based on how long you think it'll take to do, you can put a number of tomatoes. So for example, if you've got a big task ahead of you, you might put four tomatoes next to it. Or if you've got a shorter task to do, then maybe one tomato next to it. Also make sure that in your mini breaks that you have after your 25 minutes to get up, get outside, get stretching, just kind of get away from screens to kind of detox your brain. Because the main problem with a lot of studying, as I mentioned earlier, is the mental fatigue. And what you want to do is kind of take yourself away from that situation so that you are more fresh when you get back into it. And as I mentioned earlier, the Forest app is a really great tool to start using the Pomodoro technique. So what is the Forest app? What does it do? Basically, it is an app that you can download on your phone where in each of your 25 minute increments, you are growing a tree. And if you were to go off the app, then you kill your tree. And it's a very simple concept, but basically it just allows you to visualize how much work you've done based on the amount of trees in your forest at the end. And obviously it's the bonus of the added incentive to not go off the app because if you go off the app, then you kill your tree and therefore you're less likely to go on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. So I hope you found this video really interesting and helpful. And if you do go on to implement this technique, then I really hope it works well for you. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'd love to hear any thoughts or feedback you had on the video in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.